Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is HS Collectibles. This is Cody, and I'm sharing more of my collection with you again. Uh, so, this is the Soda Toys Land of the Dead Big Daddy figure. Um, I'd been wanting to get him for a while. Uh, I found him at the last convention that we went to. In fact, Eugene Clark was there selling these uh, autographed. And uh, I, I didn't want to get one like that because this was one I did want to open and put on the shelf. Um, I get him out of the box. You'll, you'll see I don't think he looks as much like Big Daddy as he could. But uh, still one of my favorite zombies. Very cool figure. And if you ever get a chance at a con to uh, take the time to talk to Eugene Clark, do it. Um, real nice guy. And uh, in fact, he's the... Uh, uh, first autograph we ever got going to any of the conventions and then we were lucky enough in Louisville to get a picture with him in costume in actual prosthetics from the movie uh, uh, so that was pretty cool he looked he looked very good for that picture and uh, I'll, I'll actually grab it here in a minute and show it to you so uh, the box he's from soda uh, soda toys you can see up there uh, this will make the second soda toy that I have. Um, the other one is the Toxic Avenger uh, now playing figure that they did that I had signed by Lloyd Kaufman. I'll eventually make a video of him. But uh, there were three in the Land of the Dead series. You had the Butcher Zombie. Um, and I forget the actor's name. He was also in uh, the remake of Dawn of the Dead. Of course, you had Big Daddy, Eugene Clark, and then you had the machete zombie that Tom Savini played that was a uh, uh, the zombified uh, biker from Dawn of the Dead showing up again later. So that was that was pretty neat to uh, see him. I, I got to see this in the theater back in, I think, 2005 was when it came out. And just to see Savini walk on the screen as that was uh, a treat for me. So... Uh, one thing about these, since I don't have the other two, um, they each come with a piece of this uh, half-eaten and mangled victim. Um, so I think Big Daddy, Big Daddy comes with, uh, it's like his head and his arm. Uh, so the other two come with more. If I can catch, them, catch one at a con somewhere, I will pick up Machete. I don't know if I'll get the butcher zombie. I'd, ha I'd have to see him in person, but you can see by the picture it doesn't look much like him. And and like I said, Big Daddy could be better, but we'll get him out of the box and, and see how he looks. He comes with uh, an extra hand, his uh, uh, jackhammer, and uh, the uh, machine gun that he grabbed off one of the bikers. So. I'll cut away and we'll come back and I'll have him open for you. And we're back and there he is. Uh, now one thing I'll say real quick, if anybody from Soda Toys should ever see this video, God bless you. Um, they had him in the plastic with this piece of plastic in front holding everything in place. There were no, there were no zip ties, no bread twists, no, no tape. Um, that's the way to pack a figure if you ask me. Uh, so anyway, looking at him, he does come with his little machine gun, and it's it's okay. It could have a little bit more detail, a little bit more paint, but you can see there's a, a, you know the receiver, there's a clip. I'd love it if it had a strap so that you could strap it to him the way he carried a gun through most of the movie. Um, but he he's a very uh, thick figure. The legs are thick because of the coveralls. Um, not too articulated, um, you know. His arms uh, swing out a little bit, and of course pivot around. Both of them do. Uh, his head does not move. His legs do not move. His feet do not move. Uh, so only articulation is in the arms. Uh, the cuffs of his pants are dirty. His boots are dirty. Um, you know, he, he looks like he's been out and about for a while. There's some grease on his stomach there, like you'd expect on uh, coveralls of a gas station attendant. Um, as far as the face, yeah, that does not look a whole lot like uh, Eugene Clark, Big Daddy. It looks like a, uh, uh, more like a comic book version. Um, oh, I take it back. I 
popped it loose. It just was kind of stuck in place. His head does move, um, so you can have him, you know, looking different directions. Um, but uh, he's he's decent. I like him. I'm I'm happy with him, and I was happy with the price. Uh, let's see, there's a couple little holes in his head. A um, lot of uh, bruises and contusions. A little bit of blood up there. Uh, you know, good paint job, good eyes on him. It just could look more, more like Big Daddy. Kind of looks like maybe there's something green coming out of his mouth. Um, you know, he wasn't really like that in the movie, but uh, so yeah, that's him and his gun. He does stand very well. <clears throat> Here's his jackhammer. Uh, that's kind of cool. He came with an extra hand, but they're both the same. Uh, you know, as if they were holding the trigger on something so I'm just going to stick this on here and leave it because I figured out it is very hard to get the gun in his hand while it's on his arm so uh, I put the hand on and I put the hand on the gun and then I put the uh, the hand into his arm so that's cool I'll just have that laying at his feet and then the body parts you get of the victim uh, is a you know eaten away head uh, flat on the back so that it lays nice um, this can just stay at his feet and be a little bit more carnage decoration uh, got a nice uh, bloody uh, tore off arm with a lot of viscera in there and just more uh, general nastiness and that can that can lay somewhere around my zombie shelf too uh, so real quick I'll grab the picture of Big Daddy and bring it back and show it to you Okay, I'm sorry about that. I should have had this ready to go on the last edit, but uh, get the glare off. There we are with him. Um, try to get in on him. Uh, he looked really good in the makeup, I thought. Um, in person, it was really something uh, to see him. So, in fact, this last convention, he was walking around in the coveralls, just at his table even. Uh, my daughter was not too sure about him in the picture. Uh, it's funny, my, my son was, you know, kind of into it, but my daughter didn't want to be around him at all. It freaked her out, so. Uh, that was our photo op with him. That's our big daddy. Uh, I have his uh, autograph, actually, on my Land of the Dead uh, DVD. Just show it to you here real quick while we're on the subject of big daddy. And he wrote, uh, To Sam... Eugene Clark, Big Daddy, that's my son. He did that on the sleeve. And then on the uh, DVD itself, he wrote it to me. So, again, he was our first autograph back in 2012. And uh, uh, got us started down that path doing autographs. So, uh, you know, that keeps us pretty busy. So, anyway, uh, that's Big Daddy. Uh, like and subscribe more stuff like this coming. I still got a few things from the convention to show off So uh, come back and see me. I'll talk to you later